Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. I don't know why I got this in my hands because I already got the message. Okay. I will go ahead and get y'all this message, y'all. When I woke up, <laughs> spoke to me. <laughs> like, y'all, God was not playing with me today. Not today. Not today. Not the start of the fast. Baby, when I say God, Get up, okay? But the message that I heard is, okay? Oh, Lord, okay? We we need to go ahead and walk out. Like, it was, it came to me in a vision, and it was somebody speaking this to me. And it's like, I was in, in my dream, I was asleep. And it was like, get up, get up, get up. Come on, let's go walk, let's go walk. And I'm like, go walk and see who? Go walk and do what? And where we going? And they said, well, if we just go always, if we if we don't walk and if we never go anywhere, then we might as well already be dead. The scripture comes from Proverbs 24 and 29. Do not say, I'll do to them as they have done to me. I'll pay them back for what they did. I went past the field of a slugger, past the vineyard of someone who has no sense. Thorns had come up everywhere. The ground was covered with weeds and the stone wall was in ruin. I applied my heart to what I observed and learned a lesson from what I saw. A little sleep, a little slumber. <laughs> God, get on me like this. A little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come on you like a thief, and scarcity like an armed man, baby. Y'all. So this this video right here, I'm posting this. I'm not editing it. I am posting it. I am posting it. It's full fact, full fledged. People be feeling like, oh, she always get on me. Oh, she always talk out. She always pointing a finger. She always, baby, God is getting on me today. Okay, it's like I'm about that bed now. <laughs> And that is, that is, that's the message. God said, stop sleeping so much, okay? And that might, I don't know if that's for anybody else, but I know for sure, for sure, it's for me. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, yeah, that's the message. Um, that that's the that's legit the message. You know, um, I'm thinking about how I remember when uh I was younger when I was in my twenties, I was working in a nursing home, and I was asking people what they was gonna do. This is back when we had set work days, so there were full time schedule. Some people worked Monday through Friday, and some people worked on the weekends, double weekends. Why they took that away, I don't know. I just, I like, I don't understand. It's kind of like the higher else was like, uh, the nurses assistants, it's not fair that they are able to have a decent schedule and they can go and do what they want on the weekends or during the weekdays and they, you know what I'm saying? Just, and this is coming from somebody that worked both shifts. I've worked weekdays sometimes at one nursing home and at one nursing home, I worked double weekends and was going to school during the week. Anywho. I'm asking them what they doing for the weekend. Man, when I say my, my co-worker talking about, I'm going to sit. Like, she was legit sitting in a chair, looking out the window, like, or sitting. I, I don't remember if we were sitting. Like, if we were at the front, I don't remember if she was sitting in the chair, looking out the window, or she was sitting on the porch, looking out at the street. And she said, I'm going to sit in my chair just like this here and look out my window just like this here. <laughs> okay and you know part of me was like maybe that's really what she gonna do and part of me was like maybe she just telling me that because she don't want to tell me her business and i respect that but you know what i'm saying now that i know what i know now okay and i, I didn't hit my 30s she might have been telling the truth anywho that's the message thank you guys for watching be sure to like share subscribe deuces